Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your audio is crackling, popping, or making sounds it's not supposed to be making on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in Control Panel. Best match, you come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by the large icons, and then you want to select Power Options. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to select where it says Change Plan Settings. Go ahead and left click on that, whichever one corresponds to the currently selected plan. And then you want to select Change Advanced Power Settings. If you have an option underneath PCI Express for Processor Power Management, you want to expand that and you would set minimum processor state to 100% for both the on battery and plugged in, assuming they're both were applicable to your device. If you had a laptop, you would have on battery and plugged in. Again, underneath PCI Express would be another category that says processor power management. You click the little plus next to it, and then there'd be a minimum processor state. Click the plus next to that, and then there would be an on battery and plugged in. You set both of those to 100%. And then once you're done with that, see if that resolves the problem. Something else we can try here as well, if you click the back arrow and go back to the control panel items page, we're going to go ahead and select the sound entry in here. And now we're going to select playback tab, which should be the default landing page. And then select your speakers, and then select properties. Select the advanced tab, and now there should be a drop down underneath default format. You want to click inside this drop down here, set it to 16 bit 44100 hertz, which is CD quality. So you can play around between the DVD and CD quality. You're welcome to come back in here and modify this. And you can always set it back to default by selecting restore defaults down the road if you chose to do so. Click the test button and you'd see if you would notice an improvement or not. And then you would select apply and OK and see if that was able to resolve the issue for you. And that's pretty much it. So you can also try with external speakers, try plugging them into a different port, a different USB port. You know, that definitely could be an issue. You might have a bad connection. And you may want to try swapping out with a different set of speakers too. Wouldn't hurt just to see if that was creating the issue for you. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.